we are surrounded by numbers in the world. And if we wanted to be creatures who are performing and productive, numbers will have to be part and parcel of what we do. I know on the level of business, on the level of companies, maybe even countries, we look at numbers, we see how many targets we have and we look on a daily basis, we're able to achieve those targets on and off. And the, the life that we live in those businesses and in those organizations is governed by the numbers that we see. So we're discussing the importance of flipping that statistic or those statistics and look at them from the angle of the individual, if someone stopped you on the streets and asked you a question, what are your numbers? What are you going to tell them? That is what I want us to discuss today. And I want us to see some of the advantages of having numbers governing your life. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Even if you're spiritual enough, you realize that at some level in time, at some point in time, we talk about numbers a lot. When you talk about Jesus' disciples, there were 12 in number. How come there were not more than 12? When you talk about the date that they got out of Egypt and they were supposed to go into their promised land, you talk about 40 years. You also talk about 40 days. It would have taken them 40 days, but it took them 40 years, and so on. My point is that numbers normally govern a lot of things, and it will be such a life that is not productive, is not checked, like Jim Rohn said, that a life not reviewed is not a life worth living if you do not have the numbers that you are guaranteeing. And I think... The thing that very many people normally look at in their lives is the age. And in the, they look at their numbers in terms of the age. You know, this year I'm 32. I have just entered my 30s. Oh, no longer I'm going to be 20s and so on. And it kind of does something in their lives to just think about that number that is governing their life at that moment in time. But we're saying that if you're going to be a productive human being, you need to have some intentional numbers that are governing the things that you're doing on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Big time organizations, they have weekly projections, they have quarterly projections, they have yearly projections and so on. Every time, you know, the government reads the governmental budget and the numbers are the ones that are normally involved in doing that, in governing where we've come from, where we are going, and so on. So at the individual level, it is important for us to also have some numbers. And I was discussing, I discussed some of those numbers in the previous four or five episodes to see the kind of statistics that we need to have in our lives. And I think one of the things that we do a great disservice on our own lives is to live our lives ungoverned and heralded by numbers, by statistics, by measures and by metrics. We think that metrics and measures are only things that should be done with big time organizations and the companies that we work for. In fact, one of the things that you'll find is that a manager at a company, even a departmental head, has numbers concerning that department. You know, a multi-billion dollar budget for that department. For years on end, they are careful to the years and they're making sure that the, the, the numbers are governing that department, that organization. And 
When you ask them for individual numbers, they look at you, they stare at you blankly because they do not know what numbers they are going to use in that particular life at the individual level. So I'm saying that why don't we flip those statistics and start looking at our own personal numbers, our own individual numbers, and let those individual numbers start governing our lives. And it is important. And I'm going to tell you one reason today why it is important for you to have your own numbers governing your life. Because if you do not have numbers governing your life, chances are that your productivity, your performance, you will not even know where you're going. You don't even know where you come from. You don't even know the kind of progress that you're making. But today, the very reason as to why you should have numbers in your life is number one, it brings intentionality into focus. One of the greatest things, one of the greatest values that you can ever have in life, if you are a visionary, if you are a person who is sold on to productivity, you are sold on to performance, this thing of intention is absolutely critical. When there is no intentionality, then there is no productivity, there is no performance. When there is no intentionality, the potential that someone has in their lives continues being wasted. It just goes, you know, just costing around in life. You will not know how much potential there is that can be exploited when you are not intentional. But you see, the intentionality is governed by by numbers. There is no way you're going to govern that intentionality that you have in your life without putting numbers in place. Saying that I intend to do X, Y, Z by a particular date. The numbers are the ones that will govern there. The numbers are the ones that will come into focus to make sure that you deliver on point. There is nothing as inspiring and equally scaring, by the way, as seeing your own personal statistics on a daily basis. You see, there is intentionality when you know that yesterday I got these numbers. And then you know that I've got to do move heaven and earth so that today I also get those same numbers and I even do one more. In other words, your progression is seen. You have graphs. You know, I used to have a friend back in the day when we used to, you know, go to church and so on and I still do go to church. And this friend had this phrase and she was talking about her spiritual life, especially her prayer life. And she's saying, she was saying, I hate graphs. I hate graphs. And let me explain what graphs were in her life. You know, the aspect of today I prayed, today I had an awesome, you know, time of prayer with my God and so on. And then tomorrow I sleep. And then the next day I pray. And then the next day I don't. The next day I don't. And then I wake up three days later and I have a prayer life and so on. It, it is kind of like graphs up and down, up and down. And she said, I hate graphs. But let me tell you this. You will not have this come to fruition or come to focus if you do not have numbers. Numbers will help you to see how your graph is progressing. I know she hated graphs, especially the down part. But I can tell you that you can have the up part. In other words, you see your numbers on a daily basis and you see where you are, you see where you should be and you go one step ahead or two steps ahead and so on. In other words, you're always in an upward trajectory. Either you are flat, which is okay, by the way, I said about flatlining some time back. You'd rather be flatlining on a higher level than flatlining on a low level. But it is, let me tell you, it is even a difficult thing just to maintain a flat line. It is not an easy thing to maintain a flat line as in to keep being on that level of performance day in and day out. But the numbers are the ones that will tell you. The numbers are the ones that will give you the focus. And this is only done when you have the numbers giving you the focus. It gives you intentionality. In other words, tomorrow you go back with the intention that I have this number to get. I have this score to make. And so the intention is heightened because you have a number to beat. But if you wake up in the morning and there is no number to beat, there is no score to have. Guess what? You will just live without intention. In fact, the only true weapon that will enforce 
personal intentionality is tracking your own statistics knowing where you are knowing what you did yesterday knowing what you must do today you have your own scores to do like i told you in the previous episodes you have your scores in terms of health what did you do in your running circuit last week so today you know what you're going to do i have a friend who has a number in terms of running and he says that every i think it's every month or every week i don't know i can't remember but i think he says every week i must run 60 kilometers every week i must do my 60 kilometers that is a number and that number forces him to become intentional and do you know what he does he leaves his car at office and runs back home on a particular day in the week and then his wife is going to drop him the, the following day that intentionality cannot come without the number being there the 60 he's got to hit 60 kilometers every single week he's got to hit it that means averagely he must run at least 10 kilometers a day and that is a number that makes this intentionality business come into sharp focus So if you want to have intentionality in your life the best way to sort out that intentionality is to have focus the best way I assure you the best way to sort out that intentionality is to have numbers have numbers in place put numbers in place numbers in terms of your finances numbers in terms of your relationships numbers in terms of your business numbers in terms of your health Once you have those numbers in place, guess what? Intentionality just comes into place. And I know I can wing this by saying that Jesus Christ said, "Where your heart is, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also." How do you have treasure in a place? You set an intention in there. You put numbers in there. And when the numbers go, the intention is going to follow. So One of the reasons as to why you should flip the statistics and have this personal statistics to govern your life is simply this it is going to bring intentionality into focus and you and I need to be intentional in order to be productive in the podcast tomorrow we're going to talk about something else that is important in terms of having your own personal numbers so look out for that and stay tuned A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.